I'm out today with my SP101 two and a quarter inch barrel and I want to test a couple of different rounds of ammunition on water jugs um, for penetration and energy transfer. I have jugs lined up and the first jug has four layers of denim on the front. And the first round I want to test is the Hornady Critical Defense. And this is a 110 grain plus P. The next round I want to test is the 357 Magnum Golden Saber. This is a 125 grain hollow point. So I want to see the difference between a 38 Special Plus P and a 125 grain um, 357 Magnum. Now these Magnums are not full power loads. They are roughly two-thirds of the power of a full house load. But in a gun like mine, I don't really want to shoot anything more than that. Um, energy on this, somewhere around 350 foot-pounds is what most people are getting. You know, about 1,100 feet per second out of that 125 grain. This is about 100 foot-pounds energy less, about 250 foot-pounds, something like that. So it would be interesting to see what they do. So first load is going to be the 38 Special Plus P Hornady Critical Defense. Okay, here's jug one. It took on a lot of that energy. Pretty much exploded it. The only thing holding it on, holding it together is that tape and denim. I mean, it shot right through the denim. Passed clean through jug two. And I can see the bullet in jug three. However, I don't see much of a hole. But there is a hole right there, dead center with the jug. See what the bullet did. And here we go. Here's the there's the plug, and here is the bullet. Not as great as expansion as I've seen. Uh, but it's still it's still pretty good and that's pretty common for these no matter how you test them whether through denim or plain water or through denim and gel um, but it's not as big of expansion as what some bullets have been okay, now I'm gonna test the Remington Golden Saber 125 grain 357 Magnum Here's the first jug, center shot through the denim, that took on a lot of force, that tape almost exploded. Went through jug two, jug two is pretty bad too. Jug two, it looks like made another clean center hit, didn't deviate too much, put a lot of energy in jug two. Went right through jug three, emptied the water, 
And here's jug four, and it looks like the bullet's in jug four. And that's not good. <laughs> All there is is just the core of the bullet. Hardly any of it left. I'm going to look for some of those petals. Well, I don't know if this is good or bad. Jug 3, I found the uh, jacket and it separated. But look at the size of it. <laughs> Here's what you get. That is... That's a, you know, it's, it's jacket separation, generally that's a bad thing, but that's a big old jacket. And if it wasn't water, there might be different effects on it. Like if it was gel or if it was flesh, it might not have separated that far. So there's your 357 Magnum Golden Saber. Recoil on it wasn't too bad, but... There you go.